justice for all. The flag of the state of Oklahoma is symbols of peace and I all people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't feel bad, Dad. They got us the first time, too. <laughs> I don't know. I guess so. Maybe it's... Okay, don't worry about it. I was sitting in there. Probably to close the door. I think that's the one. I think I heard that. Anyways. <laughs> I can't get that door shut. Yeah, I just thought it was Our item five is the following concern reports and item number 15. They can normally approve at board meetings. It will be approved by one vote unless any board members desires a separate vote on any or all of these items. The consent agenda consists of the discussion, consideration, and approval of the following items. Item A, minutes of the August 12, 2019 board meeting. Item B, Treasurer's Report for August 2019. C, General Fund Expenditures Comparison Analysis for September 9, 2000. And it passes 5-0. Item B, is vote to approve or not to approve the Student Activity Fund Report and transfers for the month of August 2019 or table action on these items. Are there any questions on Student Activity Fund Report? What's the football concession? It's got the little parentheses. <coughs> Is that just like had to move some money around? See, it's under uh, 915. Is it a That's what I'm figuring the parentheses is. Oh, it's going to be okay now that we have all that. Okay. So that was just one of those short time besides the guy. First ball okay. yeah. That's what I was wondering, but I wasn't for sure. That's what I just wondered because it's, that account has basically nothing but that amount. Yeah. I like this, that something that says pretty blank one. I don't remember being negative. No, that's all it is. Okay, I'm good. I have no income. I make a motion to approve item B of the student activity report. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve item B of the student activity fund report transfers. Helen? Yes. Chester? Yes. Molly? Yes. Hill? Yes. Bashford? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Item number 7 is the superintendent's report. Um, very good start for the school year. We've been uh, kind of ironing out a few little wrinkles that we had to start the year. We had some kids change bus routes and got on different buses. Uh, tried to make that up. But we didn't have, we had one bus last year that made two trips and we didn't. We had kids sitting in front of the school, so instead of doing that, we kind of shut some around in the afternoon, put them on a different bus, and we only have one. Everybody has one route. We don't have kids sitting waiting to come back and go. Um, the, the, the change with uh, Jan and King, with our own people in the night crew, seems to be working well. I haven't had any complaints yet. I don't know if you guys have had any, but um, that seems to be like a, like a good move that we made. Ball games into the season, and um, things are going to get a little easier when we get to our district. But we had we knew we had a really tough uh, preseason. So, other than that, I think that uh, we have things going in the right direction. It feels like we have a positive energy in the buildings, and everybody seems to be working towards the same goal. Buses all we've got the new buses, right? Huh? Radios in them? Yes. All that stuff? Yeah, right? cameras, radios, all good to go. Any other questions? Mr. Tanner? Thank you, Mr. Tanner. Um, item number eight is the principal's report. I'll start with this handle. Okay, um, we had a good start to the year. Uh, back to school night was a huge success. They seem to have a lot of fun. 
Um, I was the only injured person on the slip and slide, so that was great. <laughs> so the kids have some new outdoor things to do, and they've been enjoying them. One of them is Gaga Ball, which I just want to clarify. My grandkids call me Gaga, but this was not named after me. It's just a universal name for it, and our fifth graders are loving it. Um, we have a calm down room Miss Thompson created, and it has been a hit and so helpful for some of our kids. I mean, they can, if they get upset, they can go in and just kind of relax and come out, and it's fabulous. If you haven't seen it, come visit us. You can't stay in it for just five minutes because the kids are hopping. I've tried now. <laughs> yeah, right um, our building is super clean. Um, our custodian, Ms. Mrs. Ramirez, is doing a fantastic job during the day and at night it's amazing um, they came to fix our roof and I think that that's underway um, it was under warranty and that our floors every night I'm, I'm there late and it smells good and it's wonderful um, we received another ten thousand dollar grant from the Cherokee Nation um, they came and visited with me last week and we had a choice of, uh, it's for health, and we had a choice of a before school walking club or um, water fountains. But then they weren't sure about the upkeep to the water fountains, the filters, and the things like that, so we chose the before school walking program. Coach Brannon is going to be the contact person for that, and um, they're going to spend $10,000 setting up stations where. They can, the kids can walk and then they can stop and do an activity, then go back to the track. I've, there, and there's some schools that have it and they say it's been really successful. So that's this year's project and I'm really excited about that. We have our Alpha Plus. A lady came from Alpha Plus and met with all the teachers on their plan and got all their questions answered. And it's going great. Um, map is up and running. Study Island. Um, I'm figuring that one out, <laughs> so it's just taking a little bit, but it's not really, they don't do that until after they take their first map test, which will be this week. Um, our upcoming field trips are Will Rogers um, educational tour, then our kids, we have our pre-K through second grade are all going to the fair on Friday, and they have activities from them, for them from 9 to 12. And the neatest thing is the FFA leaders are taking the classes and they're leading our kids through the fair and all the stations. And I, I love the camaraderie. We've been able to go to the pep assemblies and that's been a lot of fun. Uh, Mrs. Horner has a book fair coming up in October, the 1st of October, and lots of activities for the kids. And as always, she does a great job, so I'm excited about that. And, it's, I, I don't just, I saw a Mimi that said if you're a principal you just, you do the announcements and eat donuts and I just want to say that's not true, but I have had a lot of fun, <laughs> so I'm enjoying it so far. <laughs> I will say the before school deal, the preschool deal was awesome. <clears throat> that was very well put together. It, it, well, with the, when the kids came? Yes. Yes, <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> that, <clears throat> It was, and they just loved it. So I, 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 it was hot. <laughs> you should have gotten the duck cake. That's it. No, <laughs> you should have gotten the duck But it was, it was very well, it was very well received. Good. Good. I'm so glad. Thank you for helping and cooking all those 500 hot dogs. <laughs> I just yeah, Mr. Tanner. But she has been contacted by both of our neighboring schools to ask about our back to school. To I've gotten, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know lawyers. <laughs> Any other questions from Mrs. Campbell? Thank you, Mrs. When is the uh, oh, the fifth grade uh, Biz Town? Biz Town is going to be uh, yes. The date was changed. On one piece of paper, oh, no, I don't have my schedule. Um, on one piece of paper, it was October 24th, and they changed it to the 25th um, when we got another letter from them. So. So it is the 25th. Then? I'm going to have to look it up. 
and I can. But it just. Um, yeah, no, let me look and see. It's going to be on the 25th. Okay. So that's the that is the date. I had it for the 24th. The first piece of paper said the 24th, and then they contacted us and changed us to the 25th. So, you're welcome. Anything else? Mr. Sexton, Middle School? Um, this, has been, this is my fourth year here. The absolute best start of the school year here. Uh, back to school night. This is evidence. We had one student not represented by a parent. In other words, all the eighth grade uh, schedules were picked up, except for one. That means almost, and, and we had one that was not, not going to be here, so 99.9%, .9%, and that has never happened. Uh, the way we're communicating with this new thrill share has a lot to do with it, because I asked all of the parents, they said, thank you, you know, that's a great way to communicate. So, uh, the building looks better than ever. I mean, uh, the, the pride that I think is instilling in our staff and our kids, it's, uh, it's really outstanding. Uh, softball is finally getting some dry weather. They had a lot of rain outs. And, and so they're finally getting some dry weather and getting to play. Went up and watched them uh, at, at Oklahoma Union. And, and you know, they are really enjoying themselves. Uh, football has their opening game tonight over in Wyandotte. Uh, and we had an initial PTO meeting tonight. And I think there was a conflict because we didn't have very many parents show up at our initial PTO meeting. So, But the ones with, that were at our PTO meeting, we decided to I did look at our football schedule and our basketball schedule, looking all the way into uh, spring break, and we are we picked a Tuesday night is the least conflict. So that so that's what we're going to do. But that's a big goal of mine this year is to get as many parents into our school as possible and get them involved. So uh, for this is the first year I've done this is uh, we uh, I've established a leadership council. I asked our eighth graders. Uh, when we met with grade levels, I said, if you would like to serve on the leadership council with me and we meet once a week, have some input into our school, give them some voice. Uh, and so I have, uh, the application was, it was kind of like an essay. <laughs> and, and so I have four uh, leaders that are going to work with me. And next week we have our student council elections. The president of the student council will automatically also be on that council. So, uh, and finally, this partnership that we have with Green Lake Mental Health, uh, we have a, a behavior a behavior health coach who's here full time, and uh, it is it is making a big impact already. It really is. Uh, I haven't counted, but I know. For, for a fact, there's been at least three referrals made that I know of. And there's probably others that have been made that I don't know of, but that means we're we getting families involved and helping their kids and, and really addressing the issues that need to be addressed so that they can you know, go about their academic life. So. Any questions for Mr. Sexton? No, I would just like to say good job for stepping in Friday night. Yeah, well, I was going to. <laughs> Marquis should beat me to it, but I am especially thankful for allowing me to put you I, on the spot. I just know that when I go to ball games, I'm not going to go to the press box anymore. <laughs> no, I, I was glad to help you out. But I, I know I put you on, on the spot in a, That's okay. in a minute, but thank you very much. It's not just announcements and donuts. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what one of my teachers said. I recognize that voice. <laughs> um, well, I think we're going to have to close it out. Thank you very much.
family event this evening. His uncle passed away in June tomorrow, so he's not going to be with us. But he sent a couple of things. Uh, he's very proud of uh, Paige Atkinson and the cheerleaders for doing an excellent job of planning the pep assemblies, and they have been a huge success. Um, they have. And it's not just including just the high school or the middle school. Like it's a whole school pep assembly. Like there was limbo at the last one, and the elementary kids got to be involved. And so it's just uh, um, it's more of a family unit atmosphere kind of things going. Uh, math testing is Tim Blue is scheduled for next week. Uh, if it doesn't happen next week, it'll be soon. We're gonna we need to get that those benchmarks uh, hit. Um, he wanted to let you know that he's. He's got the he got a grant for some virtual reality reality goggles reality goggles if I could say speak. <laughs> uh, we're still waiting on the PD for that, but I think that uh, we're, he's getting a little antsy. So if we don't get the professional development on how to use them, we're just going to figure it out ourselves and run with it. Uh, there are very very. Uh, I've, I've been through uh, several of the scenes. One was Amazon River or Amazon Rainforest, and it was it was incredible. It just the uh, Clarity and the experience. It was on fire. It was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we have homecoming coming up September 27th. Uh, those are kind of the highlights that he sent. His report. He emailed and said, "Can you expand on the glasses? Do you want me to do that?" Oh, these are so awesome. You guys, have, we have the PD. We just don't have the glasses, but we're getting some for the elementary school. But um. So actually, now at this time, Walmart will use them for their training, but surgeons are using them. And so when they go in, they can actually see the inside of that person's body, like they'll scan it and go in. And then so it's making surgery even um, more accurate. And, uh, but one of the things, of course, we did fun things in the PD. Not, it's all fun, though, because there's all kinds of tours. But um, one thing that uh, we did was, go, now Paige, at, uh, Paige Hicks, she had uh, done them before. But Coach Brandon had never done them before. And so he walked a windy two before. <laughs> and then you had to jump, and you jump. Skin <laughs> so bad that he couldn't be in the dump. <laughs> I'm sure he loves me telling uh, But I mean, it is that real. It is so real for adults. But anyway, it, it will take you on tours. It is like you are at a place. I mean, realistically, but I'm so happy they have them because we may borrow them until we get ours in. <laughs> they, I, you guys have got to try them sometime to understand, <laughs> and I want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the high school is going to be playing doctor? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> no, no. It's just he. The lady was just explaining. Yeah. How, I mean, you know, they like are. ten. Yes, and ten years ago, you wouldn't have thought. You would think, oh, that's just a toy. They are actually being used in, in just yeah. about all businesses now. And so how important it is for our kids to have them and be able to use them and be used to them, you know. So it, it's amazing. Of course, you know, I went to college with a typewriter and a <laughs> you know, so. Thank you all. I just want to add one other thing. I, I, I drove by the Saturday that their coaches, and I know there were several parents and other people working on the field. They did a really nice job. They didn't just weed eat, but the way they cleaned it up, and I, they did a really nice job. They did. They should be committed for their efforts. Anything else? If not, we'll move to item number nine. It's the status report from the NOAA Classroom Teacher Association. Okay, we hosted the new teacher luncheon um, the first part of August, and we also invited the OEA president, Alicia Priest, to speak at our back-to-school breakfast. And the next day we met on the 20th for a working lunch meeting. There were about 50 people there, and we approved the negotiated items. So those are finalized to bring to the board. Um, we've also added at least 14 new members this year.
Thank you, Mrs. Frank. <coughs> item number 10 is general business. Item 8, discussion and vote to approve or not to approve the personnel report or table action on this item or vote on each item individually. Here you go, the the sheet. The one that's driving up the goes across over here and she leads that cafeteria and this cafeteria. She's doing an outstanding job. She's really um, got a good personality and always happy to be here. Just a happy person. And then we, we, uh, we found that some of our new students in the elementary school that we needed a, another pair of professionals over there, so we had uh, Ms. Lacey Bunker. Any questions on the personnel report? Not off. We have a motion. I have a motion and a second to approve. Keller? Yes. Kester? Yes. Smalley? Yes. Gill? Yes. Bashford? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Item B, the board will vote to approve the board. The board will vote to approve the school district 2019 2020 estimate of needs and financial statement of the fiscal year. 2018-2019 or table action on this item. So this document pretty much uh, gives you our final number from last year, which was 1.19 1, 1, 1, 1, million was our carryover. Um, and then this is the estimate is from this year, which tells you the amount of money that we could possibly spend. Now, if we spent all the money they said we could spend, y'all would be looking for money next year because we need all the money. Um, it says we can spend 7.3 million, but there's no way to spend that much this year. It's a separate It's in this. Yeah, it's in this. So if you look at that very last page, see what it says cash fund balance? Yeah. Is that our carryover? That's the very last page. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> There, that amount. Uh, 1.004. Uh, is that not it? It's right here. I think it's the top. It's on the cash the balance. Third page right here at the bottom. 1.19. 1 06. 1 Which carries on the two. Yeah. Don't go to that page. That one. Yeah. Oh, let's do that one. Okay. I thought it was going to be less than that. That beginning number though, right there. We want to balance as a yeah. It's really good. <clears throat> but that's better than we thought. I thought. Okay. That's what I was getting at. Is like I thought we were going to be less than that. Right. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, my goal is always going to be. Uh, the, uh, okay. I'd rather be building up some. Any other questions? Not do we have a motion a motion on item B? I make a motion to approve the uh, 2019 2020 estimate needs and financial statement. Okay. A motion and a second to approve the estimate of needs. Alec? Yes. Chester? Yes. Smalley? Yes. Hill? Yes. Bashford? Yes. Motion passes 5-0. Item C, the board will vote to approve a first year teacher mentor committee for Shiloh Freeman, Amber Deason, Hallie Hewitt, and Matt Mims for table action on this item. And I guess I read the 2019 2000 committee consists of Sherry Campbell, Kayla Gregston, and Diane Delp for Mrs. Freeman and Ms. Deason, and Bud Sexton, Kim Parrott, and Elizabeth Sanko for Hallie Hewitt. And for Matt Benz, it's Deidre Hewitt, Ron Williams, and Chris Lester. These are, this is a new uh, department for the state. Uh, the last couple of years, but you have to have, you have, to have one for every uh, first year teacher. And they, they kind of just kind of into a war and talk to them, uh, help them be a little more successful, make it a little bit easier. It's a good thing. Any 
any questions? Not. Do we have a motion? Have a motion to approve item C. Is there a second? A second. Allen? Yes. Chester? Yes. Smalling? Yes. Hill? Yes. Bashford? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Item D, the board will vote to approve or not to approve local gifted and talented advisor committee consisting of Ron Williams, Sherry Campbell, Bud Sexton, Gina Thompson, Dee Dee Hewitt, Heather Hutto, Angela Frankie, Jason Prince, Todd Brandstetter, Jesse Ferguson, Rachel Chapman, and Christy Horner for table action on this item. Now, this is a new committee that is, uh, this is also something that's starting to start to track down on. Every year we get gifted and talented money, and now they're going to be a little more specific about how did you spend your money that you got to, to serve those gifted and talented kids. This is one of the first things they're going to be asking for is our, is our committee um, and our, kind of our uh, vision or our steering uh, of that committee. So this is the people that we kind of selected to, to uh, be on the committee and serve. Uh, it's a picture of the staff and parents. We have gifted and talented all three, right? Okay. Any other questions on item D? If not, do we have a motion? I make a motion to approve item D. I have a motion to approve the gifted and talented advisory committee. Is there a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Hallett? Yes. Chester? Yes. Smalling? Yes. Hill? Yes. Sashford? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Item E, the board will vote to approve or not to approve the academic credit joint program agreement with Tri County Tech or table action on this item. This is one of those things you have to do every year so our students can get credit for the classes we're taking today. Uh, we don't approve the thing, we get the credit. It's pretty, pretty fun to see, but we have to do it every year. Make a motion to approve the item E. I have a motion to approve item E. Is there a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Allen? Yes. Chester? Yes. Smalling? Yes. Hill? Yes. Bashford? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Item F, the board will vote to approve or not approve to declare surplus the attached list of items or table action on this item. So when you classify this surplus, where do they go? Um, what happens? We can either open them up for bids, uh, or we can. Um, we actually have a contract that's out there that exists with a company called Great Plains that I think it was sort of just buried with the superintendent. Um, but they'll come and pick these things up. They'll take pictures of them. They'll post them on the website, and, or they'll, they'll they have a list server that they send out to the superintendents, and they split with us 60/40. We get 60, they get 40. So that's one of the one other options. But I'd probably recommend that we do that with everything but the two long over so I think they can choose to close that for bid because I don't know if they're going to sell on that service. I don't know if they won't, but um, um, they both run uh, in that was a relevant term, they both start to run. <laughs> I would recommend that we, most of this stuff is, a lot of these teachers have written problems grants and gotten new desks, and so we have, um, it's more like collaboration stations as, as far as some, and now we have a lot of student desks that are just running out our year, basically. We have memory. We have memory. Uh, Alec? Yes. Chester? Yes. Smalling? Yes. Hill? Yes. Bashford? Yes. Motion passes 5 Item G, the board will approve or not to approve the school days slash hours worksheet or table action on this item. And this is just basically how we account for our time during the school day. I turn this in every year to the State Department. And we're required to have 1,080 hours. And with our current calendar, we'll have 1,081. Did they, did they not change something? They did change last year, but this, this is still... I'm 
was thinking they were doing something. They were, try they were trying to move away from the four day meet. Yeah. They couldn't get it done. They I, I can't. I, so much I mean, you can, you can still do it as long as you apply for a way. That's right. So, I was thinking they whacked the minutes. It used, we used to be, they were doing minutes, was it? This used to be 180 days, period. Yeah. So this is, this is our days. This is our minutes. Passes five zero. Item H, the board will approve or not approve to allow high school, allow the high school to grant high school school credit for driver's education classes. So, the regional accreditation officer got a hold of me a couple weeks ago and said, "Why?" Uh, so you can, uh, she wanted to know if I were applying for a reimbursement. And we, I guess we've done that every year for ever. But they haven't been given credit for driver's ed because it hasn't been credited. So instead of, I mean, instead of us losing the, the small amount of money that we get reimbursed, it's easier to accredit it and do the paperwork than to lose the $3,500 that we get every year from the class. So basically, all it is is that we're going to approve it. It's going to be part of the curriculum that we can actually grade for the transfer. So where does that fall under, I mean, science, math, <laughs> extracurricular? <laughs> so, it's, oh. a, it's an uh, elective credit. Okay, so it's an elective. Okay. Will it still be charged? Yes. But they'll get, but they'll get a credit. Full summer. Huh? Full summer. It's, it's, it's only, don't want to run a, Prove it is in summertime and then um, after school. So it will not be in school day. We can prove to get the credit. That's what uh, all the other schools do. So I just assumed it was that way and then I found out with some of them. Because very few offer it anyway, most of the time. It's, it's getting around. tough. They don't have a driver's ed car and a driver's ed instructor. So I think that's a, a nice service to have to be able to this. I mean, the cheapest one is like that AAA program is $99. What's ours? What's ours? So the parents don't have to do it with it. So and the, yeah, the parents, I mean, the parents, they pay that $150. And the kids go through the class. Um, now, if we approve this, then they'll get the credit. Yeah, they'll get a grade. Yeah, they agree. Actually, I think it's set up to be pass fail, slow you to be an F. Hey, boy. Hi. 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 So then they'll still get the money, even if they do it after. Any other questions? If not, we have a motion on how to make the driver's education. I'll make a motion to approve the IMH. Motion to approve is there a second? Second. A motion and a second. Tracy? Allen? Yes. Chester? Yes. Smalley? Yes. Bill? Yes. Ashford? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Item number 11 is any new business you should come before the board? Number 12 is act of adjournment. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Yes. 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 